Financial markets could be wrong. Um, financial markets, we would expect, will adjust as there's greater clarity about the future uh, relationship. Um, and, um, uh, and I'm sure we'll come on to the, op the opportunities there, um, uh, hopefully quite uh, positively in that. But we're, we, look, we don't, have a, we don't have a bias on this. Um, we expected that there would be, a, that there will be relative to status quo in our judgment um, there is a, an impact on real incomes in the country for a period of time that is relevant for the monetary policy horizon. Since the vote, real incomes for uh, uh, real household incomes have gone down about 3.5%, again, relative to what our expectations were in May. So, again, consistent with the expectations, and uh, we've balanced policy accordingly. Um, I would expect, and we're in the process of uh, and I'll, I'll stop here, Chair. Um, uh, I would expect that in 2019 that we will see a pickup in investment in this economy, all things being equal. Strong global, greater certainty. Um, in a, my impression, uh, I'd be interested in yours, my impression of UK business is they're looking for certainty. And once, and given their, uh, the health of their balance sheets, um, given financial conditions, once they get greater certainty, not absolute, there's never absolute certainty, but greater certainty, um, they will look to put that money to work.